be shot on sight and forth in perpetuity. Your assistance is appreciated and mandatory. The real party doesn't start until he's dead. Uh, she is not making this easy. In our first video of the year, we covered 10 things to look forward to in 2021. While we covered a few big games in that video, we didn't really focus on real and tangible titles that we know definitive schedules for. Welcome back to Game Gentlemen. This week we're taking a look at 11 confirmed games we're hyped for in the start of 2021. For this list we're only looking at games with a confirmed release date, and we'll be excluding the next-gen updates of existing titles. So sorry Yakuza Like a Dragon, but your PS5 edition won't be making it on the list. Before we get started, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Honourable Mention, January Releases As we're posting this at the start of February, 2021 has already kicked off with some really great titles. If you haven't already, be sure to check out Hitman 3, Scott Pilgrim vs The World The Game Complete Edition, and the Xbox exclusive title The Medium. Destruction All-Stars Little detail was actually known about Lucid Games' vehicular combat title until the state of play which dropped last week. In the 7 minute video we see more of the game's systems, how the combat works, and get a feel for some of the game modes. The core premise of Destruction All-Stars is of course, destruction. Players can jump in different styles of car, focusing on speed, agility, or brute force, and must manoeuvre around the stadium dealing damage to their opponents to wreck their vehicles. However, driving isn't the only option, as players can get out of their vehicle and move around on foot, using jumps, vaults, and wall runs to get around. Players can also take over or wreck enemy vehicles and build their special to unlock character-specific abilities and vehicles to give them an edge in the competition. The game can be played in both single-player arcade and online modes, with game modes including Carnado, which sounds pretty much exactly like what it is, Stockpile, where players collect the gears of fallen enemy vehicles and bank them in one of several control points, and Gridfall, where sections of the stage will fall away over time, leading to a more dangerous arena. Sony and Lucid made the wise decision to push back the release of Destruction All-Stars and launch the game as a PS Plus free title from February 2nd to April 5th. We think this was the best move for a title like Destruction All-Stars, as these type of games live and die by their player base. And Sony has seen similar success using this launch strategy with titles like Rocket League and Fall Guys. Little Nightmares 2 the sequel to the 2017 title, Little Nightmares 2 picks up some time after the events of the original, with game protagonist Six rescuing a young boy with a brown paper bag over his head, named Mono, from a creature known as the Hunter. Six and Mono must navigate the PAL city to the Signal Tower, to find the source of the transmissions which are controlling its citizens. Much like its predecessor, Little Nightmares 2 will feature platforming puzzles, terrifying atmosphere, a feeling of helplessness, and of course, grotesque and larger-than-life enemies to hide from, avoid, and evade. Little Nightmares 2 will release to Switch, PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on February 11, with next-gen consoles getting their own versions later in the year. Prince of Persia Sands of Time Remake We've been teased with a return to the Prince of Persia franchise for some time now. With the last mainline entry in the franchise releasing back in 2008, we've seen crossover events in titles like For Honor, cancelled development projects, fan petitions, as well as trademark and domain name renewals. That hunger was finally satiated, in part, when Ubisoft announced that it was remaking 2003's Prince of Persia The Sands of Time. This ground-up remake will bring the franchise to current generation consoles using Ubisoft's Anvil 2.0 engine. The remake will stick faithfully to the 2003 original, keeping the core gameplay experience alive and bringing back original voice actors to re-record dialogue. Originally slated for a January release, Ubisoft announced back in December that the Prince of Persia Sands of Time remake would be delayed a few months to give the team's time for extra polish under the development conditions of COVID. The game is now scheduled to release on March 18. Monster Hunter Rise 
The sixth entry into Capcom's beloved Monster Hunter series, Monster Hunter Rise will be releasing exclusively on the Nintendo Switch on the 26th of March. Monster Hunter Rise will follow the same core gameplay loop of slaying or trapping monsters, using the tools, weapons and the environment around you to survive. It's in these environments that Rise differs from its predecessors with a higher emphasis on verticality than previous titles. Players will be able to play Rise in single player as well as both local and online multiplayer modes, and the game will have some type of cross compatibility with the upcoming Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. Nintendo will also be releasing three new amiibo figures for the Palico, Palamu, and Magnamalo, which will unlock unique armor sets for players in game. Outriders we last spoke about Outriders in our video of 20 games to look forward to with no release dates in 2020. The title has since been delayed from its holiday 2020 window to February 2021 and again to April 1st. In Outriders, humans have tried to colonise an alien planet called Enoch, but their efforts are interrupted when they encounter a large energy storm known as the Anomaly, which grants them and the planet's inhabitants superpowers. Players must use these powers in one of four classes in both single player and multiplayer third person shooter combat. Players will be able to get a feel for what to expect prior to the game's launch with People Can Fly announcing a demo of the first couple of hours coming this February. Featuring all classes in both single player and co-op game modes, any progression will carry across to the full game. New Pokemon Snap 22 years in the making, New Pokemon Snap is the creatively titled sequel to the original Pokemon Snap, released all the way back in 1999. In Pokemon Snap, players will explore the Lentil region to aid the research of Professor Mira by photographing and documenting the various Pokemon species which inhabit the region. Players will explore beaches, jungles and deserts in an on-rail adventure where they will photograph over 200 different types of Pokemon, being graded on their shot composition, view of the subject and more. New Pokemon Snap will release on Nintendo Switch on April 30th. Returnal Returnal is a third-person shooter with roguelike elements being developed by Finnish game studio Housemark. Housemark has a long history of collaborating with Sony, previously releasing arcade-style and twin-stick shooters such as Rezogun, Alien Nation and Matterfall. Players will take control of space pilot Selene, who is stuck in a time loop and stranded on a hostile alien planet. Players must use their weapons and their skills to survive, but if you die, you'll Tom Cruise your way back to life in an infinite loop to do it all again. As one of the first truly exclusive second-party PS5 titles, Returnal is set to use the console's next-gen features such as the Tempest 3D audio engine, adaptive triggers and haptic feedback, as well as take advantage of the PS5's SSD to deliver super-fast loading times and ever-changing environments. Returnal was another title recently delayed from its original release date of March 19 to its new release date of April 30th. Resident Evil Village We covered a lot about Resident Evil Village in our video last week, so we'll keep this entry pretty short. The eighth mainline entry in the Resident Evil franchise, Village sees the return of both the first person perspective and protagonist of Resident Evil 7. The game appears much more paranormal in tone and action oriented in gameplay with Ethan facing off against emaciated dungeon dwellers, werewolves and a family of vampires. We're sure there's much more to Resident Evil Village that we've yet to see. PlayStation 5 owners can play the Maiden Visual Showcase right now, while everyone else will be able to get their hands on a demo at a later date. Resident Evil Village will release on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One and Xbox Series consoles on May 7th. Deathloop We've covered our excitement for Arkane's new IP Deathloop in previous videos. The timed PlayStation exclusive looks to take much of the gameplay, level design and environmental puzzles from Arkane's previous entries, Dishonored and Prey. Playing as a hitman named Cole, players must navigate the mysterious island of Black Reef and take out 8 targets within a single night. Players will not be able to cover the entirety of the island and take out these targets one by one, so they must observe, look for opportunities and use the environment to bring their targets together or pit them against one another to make the job easier. 
However, while you're trying to complete your contracts and take out your targets, you will be interrupted by a perpetual thorn in your side by the name of Juliana. A rival hitman with only one name on her list, yours. Much like Returnal, you are stuck in an infinite loop, and every time you die, or if you don't kill your targets, you will start again. Each death is an opportunity to learn, sharpen your skills, and figure out new approaches to taking out your targets. Deathloop comes to PS5 and PC on the 21st of May, with a release on Xbox consoles at a later date. Biomutant Biomutant is an open-world action RPG from Swedish developer Experiment 101 and published by THQ Nordic. Biomutant will allow players to create their custom character, with choices on body attributes having a direct impact on gameplay such as agility and damage absorption. Throughout the game, players will be able to augment weapons with a variety of modifiers as well as their own bodies with options such as biomechanical legs, claws and wings. Players must save the Tree of Life from a poisonous oil rising from the ground and navigate the Warring Tribes, each of whom will interact with the player based on a karma system. The game will feature multiple branching narratives based on the decisions players make and the alliances they build throughout the game. Biomutant will release on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on May 25th. Experiment 101 and THQ Nordic have not announced next-gen versions of the title at this stage. Back for Blood Former Left 4 Dead developers Turtle Rock Studios are clearly working around IP limitations and Valve's refusal to do anything with the three in the title by bringing us Back for Blood. In a more than spiritual successor to the Left 4 Dead series, Back for Blood is a multiplayer first person shooter where players must survive hordes of infected enemies called the Ridden. Back for Blood will incorporate a unique card system which will act as gameplay modifiers such as health, stamina and damage, with players being able to collect more cards for their deck as they play through the levels. Back for Blood will release on PC as well as current and next gen PlayStation and Xbox consoles on June 22nd. So that's our list of 11 upcoming releases we're hyped for in the first half of 2021. Are there any titles we missed that you're hyped for? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend to tell them what to be hyped for in the first half of 2021. This has been Game Gentleman, and thanks for watching.